specialized test to help save lives. We'll tell you what's ahead to be done in the nuclear medicine field to detect heart stress. Well, February is National Heart Health Awareness Month, and today we're getting insight on special tests used to assess health risks due to physical stress and cardiovascular issues. It is all under nuclear medicine, and joining us now to share more about the stress test and signs to watch for is Dr. Vaskin Delcisian, Chief of Nuclear Medicine at the University of Maryland. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Let's share some heart statistics. What are we talking about here in the United States? Well, in the, as far as coronary artery mm -hmm. disease is concerned, atherosclerosis, which is a plaque formation in the vessels, is the number one cause, leading cause of death in the world. Mm. And it affects both men and women. Mm -hmm. In the United States, one out of seven deaths uh, in the country mm -hmm. is from atherosclerotic heart disease. So identifying disease early, preventing it, yeah. is, is an important goal. So tell us about the nuclear stress test. What is this and how does it help? Sure. Uh, well, we're all familiar with the regular treadmill study. Right. So when you're having chest pain with exertion, mm -hmm. it's kind of nice to put you on a treadmill and to see if we can reproduce that chest pain. Okay. And that's great, except that uh, what nuclear medicine procedure stress test does is that we inject a very small amount of radioactive drug in the vein as you're exercising. And at peak exercise, we measure blood flow to the heart muscle. So the reason you get chest pain with exertion is because the blood flow that's flowing through those plaqued mm -hmm. arteries are narrowed and they're limited and it, it causes chest pain. Okay. So we actually measure blood flow in absolute terms and we go directly why you're having the chest pain. Okay. And this, by the way, so why would I want to know that? Yeah. Well, well it, it, it prevents unnecessary invasive cardiac catheterization. Okay. That's a, it's a procedure that's four times more expensive right. and it's invasive. And sometimes you go in, you may not really need to have an angioplasty mm -hmm. if you know your blood flow by the nuclear technique is normal. Is this something you can request or does your doctor have to recommend that you get one of these? Well, of course, uh, most cardiologists mm -hmm. and internists know about this procedure. It's been done for the last 50 years. Okay. Uh, there are about 8 million procedures done every year. So, uh, so it's, more, it's it, more prevalent than I thought because I'm thinking this is something unusual, not widely used, but it's, it's been it, used for quite a while. It's been quite a while, but the technology is advanced okay, uh, yeah. and the blood flow measurements have become much more precise and accurate. So what signs should people look for uh, to say, okay, I might, something's going on, I should be more aware of? What signs should people look for? Well, usually the signs are, well, we're all familiar with the chest pain, yeah. with exertion, but the other signs that you should be working for is shortness of breath. Okay. A lot of times you get, well, you used to do the same task every time, mm -hmm. but now you're getting a little bit more shorter breath than usual. Mm. That's also a sign of uh, probably reduction in blood flow. Right. Now, in women, uh, sometimes it's fatigue. It's not even chest yeah. pain. It's nausea. It's, it's unusual symptoms. So you, what, what then you have to do is you have to say, what are the risk factors right. for coronary disease, such as high blood sugar, mm -hmm. high blood pressure, high cholesterol, uh, and you want to limit your anxiety right. uh, that brings up the chest pain a, a lot of times. I know we're just skimming the surface of all this. Uh, more information, where can folks go to reach you and get more information on this? Absolutely. Right there on the screen uh, for you to share Society of Nuclear Medicine and Molecular Imaging. That's the Facebook page. The Instagram uh, address is there as well. Dr. Cezanne, thank you so much for coming oh, in. Also, it's a pleasure. I know thank we just scratched so the surface, like I said. So, so much more information. We'll have to bring you back. Absolutely. Thank you. Right. Thanks we'll for your time that. this morning. Thank all you. All right. Tom? That was interesting stuff.